This is the Recycling Scrap Metal Commodities and Economic Report, April 8, 2024. U.S. weekly raw steel production rose slightly to 1.72 million tons on continued slow U.S. manufacturing. WTI crude oil price rose to 86.78 a barrel on OPEC production cuts, good demand, and global tensions. Cuts reduce supply, bringing the higher prices, which is great for Wall Street oil company stocks, but bad for inflation. U.S. weekly crude oil production was steady at 13.1 million barrels per day, near the all-time record. The U.S. may slowly continue to raise production. U.S. weekly oil recount increased to 508, well off the highs, but near record production with great productivity per well. Scrap steel number one HMS price was steady at 325 a gross ton, so no change for April on a good balance of supply and demand. Hot roll car steel price fell to 41.81 per hundred weight, which is 8.36 a ton on continued slow U.S. manufacturing. Copper price rose to 4.24 a pound, a 14-month high. This was on a weak U.S. dollar and supply concerns from the Congo and Zambia. Also, on increased Chinese demand, but reduced Chinese smelting to cut supply to improve profit margins. Aluminum price rose to $1.11 a pound, which is 24.56 a metric ton on the same weak U.S. dollar and supply concerns from Guinea. Also on the same increased Chinese demand, but reduced Chinese smelting due to the dry season bringing less hydroelectric power. U.S. March ISM Purchasing Managers Business Confidence Index. It increased to 50.3, the first manufacturing expansion after 16 months of contraction. New orders increased, export orders rose, and production levels increased, but employment declined and prices rose, driven by higher commodity prices. U.S. March New Jobs Report. We added 303,000 jobs, the most in 11 months, well ahead of the 200,000 forecast. More people working makes the economy better. People pay taxes versus taking benefits. Record 401ks and record Wall Street stock prices have people feeling richer. They then spend more money, so we need more workers. U.S. March unemployment. It fell to 3.8%, the longest stretch of under 4% in over 50 years. We are in a good growth economy with still a tight labor supply. Record high wages is bringing people back into the workforce, though. U.S. March total employment rose to 158.1 million, the highest ever in American history. We have the fastest growth economy of any industrialized country. Also, the U.S. border is a big problem, but millions of people that came are in fact working. U.S. March labor rate increase. The increase fell to 4.1% compared to last year. Millions of immigrants are starting their first job, which helps lower labor increases. But... It's great that labor increases have been faster than inflation for the past 11 months. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average fell a big 896 points to 38901 on concerns of a delay over lowering of interest rates. The good jobs report and good manufacturing data together mean the economy is too good. That brings higher inflation and slows the Federal Reserve from lowering interest rates. Need a new roll-off truck? Have an underutilized day cab? Want to save $200,000? Buy a Bentley Super Mini roll-off trailer for about $87,000. A roll-off trailer, almost as short as a roll-off truck when put behind a day cab, and most all the same components as our 8-axle, 154,000 GVW trailer. The Super Mini is heavy-duty, more maneuverable, and carries more weight than a roll-off truck. This report by Greg Brown is brought to you by Bentley Roll-Off Trailers, Gondola Trailers, Crush, crush Guard Trailers, Lugger Trucks, Roll-Off Trailer Parts, and of course, Roll-Off Truck Parts. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.